There's someone on the road. Get ready. Alright, where are we? Come on, come on. Now I'm kind of... Where is everybody? Why does that keep happening? Aha! 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 Uh-oh. Who are you? Wearing a robe. Check. Baphomet symbol around the neck. Check. Crazy eyes. Check. Note to self. Bring a mirror next time to be able to adjust the optimal level of eye craziness. The woman produces a crumpled piece of paper from her sleeve and takes notes. Everything is ready for the experiment. Uh, who are you? Uh, the woman turns to you. For a moment, she focuses her wandering, distracted gaze on your face. An audience! Problematic, but not critical. You there, boy. Stay out of this. It is counterproductive to stand in the way of scientific progress. My response would be, what? Buffum at cultist. Who's that? I don't know her. Greetings, boys and girls. I'm your sister in sin, a devotee of Lord Baphomet's dark will, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna like this character, aren't I, Star Sins? I'm gonna like her a lot, aren't I? I already like her. She looks like one of us, but she talks kind of weird. The cultist's finger points your way. Who's there with you? Oh my god. Who? Oh, them? Just an audience. They don't matter. Consider them a supplementary component of the coming experiment. Uh, shrug, remaining silent. It seems the cultist wishes to say something, but the woman won't let him. In the name of our Lord Baphomet, please be so kind as to undertake a little test of your competency in our wicked cause. Let's start with something simple. She produces a pencil and a crumpled piece of paper from her sleeve. So here's my first question. What is Lord Baphomet's favored weapon? Uh, we will not answer to you. Our Lord can wield any kind of weapon. He is all powerful. Wrong. He wields no weapon at all. He doesn't need any. He just gores his enemies with his horns. I don't know for sure, but I like the answers about the horns. These answers are wrong. The correct answer is Azergal. Azergal, a glaive made of red adamantine. This experiment has taken quite a surprising turn. I would never have expected the followers of the great Baphomet to be baffled by such a simple question. The woman frowns. Fine, let's recalibrate the difficulty and proceed with the next question. Please name Lord Baphomet's sacred animal. A bull, of course. Everybody knows that. Yep, and a cow. It's in our As a matter of fact, the woman throws a vague glance at you. 
I'd like to ask you to stop prompting them, but it seems they could do with a prompt or two. It appears the experiments has yielded results which are as unexpected as they are incredible. Baphomet's cultists have not the slightest idea about who Baphomet really is, let alone any in-depth knowledge of his ideology or philosophy. I'm positive that this news will cause a sensation in widest scientific circles. Baphomet cultist. Damn it! She's right. I'm a shitty excuse for a cultist. <laughs> and my mother used to tell me to become a plowman. Hey, take it easy. We've only had two questions. You there, come on, ask another one. We'll get the next one. <laughs> Stay silent. <laughs> Sorry, this is funny. Is there any sense of in continuing? You cannot answer the simplest of questions. I am ashamed of all of you as cultists and as individuals. Please, ask again. I can answer? I'm sure I can. How do you spell Baphomet's name? B A F A Screw it! The cultist throws his weapon on the ground in a fit of anger. To hell with Baphomet. I thought it was going to be fun, but instead there are all these questions. I'm done here. I'm going back to my home village. Back to my mother. Baphomet goes, hey, wait, you there. How dare you stir up discord in our ranks? Grab her and tie her up and her entire entourage too. The experiment is complete. The woman makes a note. Unable to deal with the questions, the cultists decide to deal with the examiner instead. A typical reaction for a person who has never been burdened with any intelligence. Ah, she raises her eyes. Now, you're going to start hitting each other, aren't you? Please proceed, I won't interrupt. Let me draw the first blood. All right, so. Let's see, uh, you go there, carefully. you go there, you aim there, Attack. you go there, A solid plan. uh, you, let's go with spells, um, days, you, you, Acid Splash, you. See how that works, real quick. Okay. You, there. Go for their heart. You, there. You, continue there. You, spell, Ray of Frost, and you, Days. That guy. Let's see what happens now. Well, doing well. Well, that was quite easy. The absence of an answer. It's an answer as well. The absence of an answer is an answer as well. Always remember that. If you do not have an answer, that in itself is an answer.
All right. The woman examined the cultist's remains. The result is statistically predictable, especially consider their intelligence level. What about you, boy? Are you ready to answer some questions for the good of science? The woman turns over the crumpled piece of paper to the blank side. Let's proceed with the experiment. My first question is simple. Which color does the goddess of Iomade prefer? Failed a lower religion check. You haven't the slightest sight. Perhaps you can guess. Perhaps I can guess. Let's see. Iomade. Iomade favorite color. I don't know. I would think that it would have to be gold, right? Let's see, Iomade. Favorite color? Let's see. I, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, red and white? The woman makes a note on a piece of paper. The answer is correct. It is comforting to meet at least one educated person in the melting pot of ignorance that is Kinnabris today. Okay. Did Aridin take part in any crusade before he died? Aridin. You don't know how to answer this question, but you bet you can guess. After all, you've got two options. So, Aridin. Aridin. What is it? Aridin? I, I have no idea. So, did Aridin live or die? Hmm. Well, did Aridin? You don't know. Did Aridin? Was Aridin alive? I mean, I don't know. I have a 50 50, right? 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 Chat? 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 Anyone? Bueller? Bueller. Bueller. Okay. Was Aridin alive or dead? Um. Let's see. Aridin. I don't know. Was Aridin alive or dead? Your answer is correct. Aridin's death dates to 4606. Totally guessed. Totally guessed right. Again. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I, I totally guessed. I, I didn't get help from uh, Tayupa96. He, he didn't give me the answer at all. Really, he didn't give me the answer. I, I swear. Uh, my answer is correct. The first grade started back in 4622. Knowledge would make Mendev's crusaders proud. My final question is, what is the title that Ariulu Vorlesh bears? Is she the architect of the wor world wound, the lord of the labyrinth, or the border inquisitor of the shapeless abyss? Uh, knowledge world check. You passed. You are positive. It's known as the architect of the world wound. I was going to say that. Um, but yeah. That's correct. Most excellent. You successfully answered all of my questions. Splendid. Amazing. This is a breakthrough. This. The woman breaks off. Looks at you. And catches her breath. I thank you. 
for your cooperation. It seems to me that I owe you an explanation. My name is Ninio. I'm an explorer, a pilgrim, a yet-to-be-recognized scientific luminary, further author of the great encyclopedia Golarionamica. Yep, there, there, I said it. I said it. Yes, I said it. <clears throat> and rector of all several spells. Let me see. So. The woman blinked several times. I also know several spells. Okay. Now, can you finally tell me what you were getting at with all these? Why do you keep calling me boy? I have a name. Kinnabris isn't safe right now. Shall we join forces? Do you wish to become my follower? To accompany me on my expeditions of the world wound? To assist me in the experiments? To run errands for me? Perhaps even to write down my deepest thoughts for the benefit of future generations? Ooh, how splendid. Of course, I agree. Truth be told, I have no money to pay you, but you will be aiding the progress of science, and that is its own reward. If we join forces, you will have to follow my instructions during our expeditions. Uh, eh, what? Neo focuses his wandering eyes on you. Oh, yes, the dangers in these battles of course I will follow your orders I place my life in your capable hands so I can focus on the things that really matter I agree excellent you're hired to think that I finally found someone to accompany 27 crusaders before you said no not one of them saw the undeniable appeal of any offer well, maybe I because you're a little bit crazy. You're, you're, you're a little bit. Just a little bit. Maybe just a tiny bit. You're, you're insane. But I like it. Your first assignment is to take me to a safe place. I have to admit that today's experiment has left me quite tired. Let's see. Okay, I'll put you in there for right now. 